What are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Overboy and I'm going to be doing my review for the 2007 comedy classic, Super Bad. So, in this movie, two codependent high school seniors, Seth and Evan, are forced to deal with separation anxiety after their plan to stage a booze-soaked party goes airy. Um, so, uh, this movie is an absolute masterpiece. I absolutely love Superbad. It's been one of my favorite movies ever since I was a teenager when it first came out. I was 15 years old when this came out. And everything. When I first had saw the trailers, I was like, "That looks pretty funny." And stuff, and I didn't expect much out of it. And then I saw my friend watching it, and he happened to be on the scene where Seth was drawing dick. So I was like, "What the hell is he watching? And what the heck is this stuff?" And everything. So I didn't expect to really like it, and everything. And then eventually, I ended up checking it out at the Red Box a few months later because I kept being really curious, like, "What the hell was that drawing dicks about?" And then I saw the movie, and it instantly became one of my favorite comedy movies of all time. It's been one of my favorites ever since then. I've watched, I used to watch it on repeat all the time in my teenage years, and throughout my 20s and stuff, I, I had this movie on repeat. And I hadn't watched it in a really long time, so it, it was really fun going back and revisiting this one and the last couple of movies, Knocked Up and The 40-Year-Old Virgin, which I reviewed the last couple of weeks. Um, but... I really love this one. I think Seth and Evan, who are based on Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg, who wrote the movie, um, is based on their high school experiences and stuff, and their friendship and everything, and I, I think they are really funny and likable main characters. I love them in this movie. Fogel, aka McLovin, he just steals the show, and the cops played by Seth Rogen and Bill Hader are just absolutely hilarious, and I love them too, and I love all their little shenanigans that they get into with Fogel and everything and uh, that they're chasing down people and that they go arrest somebody and, and, and there's a lot of crazy stuff that happens in it and it just it, uh, works really well um, I think the cast are amazing in here though they all work off of each other really perfectly Jonah Hill and Michael Sarah are really believable as best friends Fogel is played by Christopher Mintz Plassey in his very first role and he just steals the show, and he, he joins these two, and just, he's perfect in here, and everything, and, and he's always been one of those actors I've always thought is underrated, every time I see him in something though, I just see Fogel, it's hard not to see anyone else, except for maybe Kick-Ass, I, I, he he's not really, he, he reminds me of Fogel and Kick-Ass, but he's not exactly like Fogel, but he, he's, that's the other movie that I think of, if I think of him, I think of those two movies. Um, and this is also my introduction to Emma Stone, who I, has become one of my favorite actresses of all time. She's great in here as Jules, and her chemistry with Jonah Hill is really good and everything. They, they work really great together. And I think the jokes in here are hilarious. There are so many terrific and hilarious moments. Um, there are so many quotable moments. I, I, I know uh, that uh, I've used a lot of those quotes, especially some of the ones that... That, that, that they've said they say to Fogel and stuff like I know that Fogel or uh uh chicka yeah and just a bunch of different things I, I've uh copied throughout the years and stuff uh, a lot of times if I get excited for a movie or a show I'll go chicka chicka yeah or whatever it just it's one of those things that's always stuck and everything but there's just a lot of fun moments in here but uh, like with most of the Judd Apatow comedies from this time period, it, it's able to both be hilarious and also have really good heart humor as well, too. So I really like that, too, um, and everything. But the jokes are absolutely hilarious in this movie and everything. And the flashback of Seth drawing the dicks and stuff is just absolutely hilarious. Had me dying laughing and everything. Whoever took the time to draw all of those pictures of the dicks and stuff just for this movie and stuff. I, I gotta give y'all props because you, you came up some, with some crazy pictures and they're just absolutely hilarious and everything. And the soundtrack is really good too. It has a lot of good classic music on there 
and everything. So I, I thought that was cool. I love the crazy situations the characters get into from uh, Fogel getting his ID and then getting robbed in the store and meeting the cops and the cops and him go off and do their own thing where they're going to bars and, and doing donuts in the parking lot, shooting up signs and setting the car on fire and the cops are just kind of trying to show him that cops can be cool too but they Fogel gets to the party, he's finally about to get on with the girl he get is really fixing to start with her and everything and the cops bust in and everything and they block they clock block him and stuff and it, it's just absolutely hilarious stuff so yeah I, I love this movie and uh, I think it's like most of the early 2000s comedies so it, it's raunchy as hell but it has a lot of heart and stuff too They're, at the center of it is it's about the friendship between Evan and Seth and how uh, how much they mean to each other and stuff and it has a sentimental value to it and everything I think everybody goes through that especially in high school when they know they're about to go a separate way from their best friend and stuff so I, I understand that but um but yeah so all in all I, I really think this is a great movie um and it, it's considered to be the last great teen comedy by a lot of people, myself included. I, I'd say this is the last really great one. I, I think we've had some really good ones since then, like I Love You, Beth Cooper, Easy A, and there's been a few other real, book smart and stuff. There's been some that have been re really good and stuff, but none of them have lived up to as good as this movie in recent years as far as teen comedies go. It's just an absolute blast. Absolutely hilarious movie. And this is another one of those teen sex comedies that, that I would say outranks a lot of the ones that most people mention nowadays. Like like most people will mention American Pie and stuff. But, and th this movie has a huge fan base and a big following and stuff, but it doesn't get talked about in the same vein as American Pie. And personally, I think this movie is ten times better than American Pie. Um... But I think it's a really, really great movie. And if you haven't seen Superbad, I would highly recommend it. If you're not into, if you're into raunchy stuff, if you're not into it and into raunchy stuff, I'd just say suck it up, Buttercup, and and watch it anyway, because it is a classic. And underneath all the raunch, you can still have a lot of fun with it and everything. And also, I forgot to mention the scene when they're at the party and. The girl gets the period of blood on Seth's leg and stuff, and everyone's making a big deal about it. He almost gets beat up and stuff. That that stuff cracks me up as well, too, and everything. I didn't really care for the whole subplot with Evan going in these rooms and in this room and singing in front of all these guys because they mistake him for someone's brother. I, I didn't really like that stuff though as much. But anyway, um, I'm gonna go as far to say that Super Bad is another comedy that I'd give a 10 out of 10. There's going to be a lot of comedies that get high scores for me because comedy is my favorite genre, and I love so many different comedy movies. It's easy to entertain me with comedy. If, if it's funny, I, I'm easily entertained. Even if it's lowbrow humor and stuff, if I, I find it funny, I'll be entertained enough, and I can enjoy pretty much any kind of comedies. But this one, I think, was real, is just a classic. It's one that never stops being funny and everything so i'd give like i said i'd easily give it a 10 out of 10 so anyway let me know in the comments what you think of super bad and i hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day everybody